Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is with much fanfare, making the walk to the famed Octagon. This guy's wrestling is really at a high level. He figures to lean on that particular skill in this matchup tonight. He's so good at controlling guys on the canvas, not just getting them down, but controlling them once they are there. Even when the opponent knows what's coming, more often than not, they just can't stop this guy's shot. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down, and once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning fast kicks coming in here tonight. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the flag! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 181 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Hercules. All right, give the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right so now. Here we go. Checked. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Damaging strike there. Lands a nice kick. And there's again that left leg. Oh, that's a good jab right there. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Missed that shot. Immediately shoots for the leg. Working on a single leg here. The takedown is there. Where things could get really interesting. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Both fighters get up now. That one hurt. Tags him. Yeah, wow, looks like a wobbly on his feet. This could be it. What a jab. 
Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, working the inside of that leg. And he switches his stance yet again. How about that chin? Wham! The right and the left behind it. Well, you know these leg kicks, Joe, are a big part of his arsenal, but I'm not sure he's been any better with it than he is here tonight. Visibly now, his opponent has started to slow down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Inside leg kick. Oh, nice straight left there. Under two minutes now to go round one. Nice. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, this could be it right here. Target there, that'll work. Oh, and he's down. Gets up again here, but hurting. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Pretty good right hand. Leg kick now. And he's looking for that left. Caught him with a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Five minutes in the books. Let's take a look at that again. And let's look at that again. Come on in. Great finish to that round. Give him some water. Give him some water. Listen, that was a great finish to that round. Now, let's start off quick. Brittany Palmer with us. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round underway. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Oh, it looks like the leg is hurt here, Joe. You can even see him limping a little bit. Really missed with that right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if... Oh! oh! He got hurt very, very badly. striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. Nice leg kick. Oh, he got tagged there. Good defense there. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh, that's got to beat this good. Oh! right on the button. Yeah, Joe Nasty is right. That elbow about as good as it gets. He maximized force there over a short distance and absolutely devastated his opponent there. It takes a lot of technique, a lot of repetitions, confidence in the gym. To actually be able to execute a shot like that, his execution tonight near perfect as he gets the knockout victory by way of that elbow. Let's take one more look at that fight-ending elbow. Picture perfect, absolute power. 
And that is the end of this fight. And here it is again. Smack. Look at that elbow. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Noah Hercules. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.